Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Fallout 2, this is Colonel RPG as usual and I'm very happy that you chose to join me today uh, as we get to explore Vault 15, we've been here before with uh, the Vault Dweller in my um, Let's Play of Fallout 1 but um, yeah, now it's the uh, Chosen One in search of a watership there's no watership in here if you haven't guessed it already yep, there's none down here, but there is a guy that's terrorizing the local populace. I mean, the local populace not so much because they kind of uh, live off his spoils, but yeah, they, they are raiders, and there's raiders living down here, and I'm kind of want to try and. Oh, there's a doctor! I see a short man carrying a book in his hands. Why are you carrying a book and standing there? Is that some sort of exercise? Hello, Doc. I, hello, I'm Doc Jones. I'm not the doctor. No, you're the doctor. Yeah. You can call me Doc. What can I help you with? So, what's up, Doc? Um, so, he's just a doctor, as it turns out. Can I ask you some questions? What would you like to know? Uh, do you work for Darian? Oh, well, yes and no. It's not by choice. I'm a prisoner here. Darian is getting, uh, is getting up there in years, and he needs a dedicated physician to look after him. The cans keep me here for his needs. I'd rather be here for the people in the town above. They have no medical help at all. And there is a lot I can do to aid them. Well, that's very commendable of you. What would you like to know? So, uh, how can you tell? what can you tell me about Darian? Darian is a mental case, plain and simple. He's got more spooks in his head than his dog has fleas. As far as I can tell, uh, he has a member of another gang called the Cans. He was a member of another gang called the Cans. They uh, kidnapped the gir this girl, Tandy, and held her for ransom. Her father didn't take kindly to that and hired some merc to give her back. Uh, Darian was the only one that came out alive. So I apparently missed that quest. i never done that quest in Fallout 1. I just... What the hell? Well, yes, that's gonna be for another Let's Play of Fallout 1 later on in uh, the lifetime of, of this channel because I don't know about that quest. I, the, if you... Yeah, if you didn't get... If you didn't get to see my LP of Fallout 1, I basically... I did all the quests in, in, in uh, Shady Sands, which is now the New California Republic, and then I went on uh, to Vault 15 which is where we are at now. The cans weren't here, the cans were a bit uh, further to the south, and um, yeah, Tandy's father did tell me that um, they ha were having problems with the raiders, but then I went to the raiders and I killed them all, because I don't really remember what it was, but I think I tried to steal something from them, and then they kind of get busy. But uh, all in all, yeah, it didn't go too well for them, um, so I don't really know, and I killed everyone, I made sure of that, um, but yeah, uh, and I don't really know. Now he's paranoid. He believes that Tandy is out to get him. He's obsessed with revenge and he wants Tandy dead. He's riddled with the guilt because he did and leave rather than um, dying with his gang. And, um, well, the list goes on and on. Huh. <laughs> well, I'm impressed with your knowledge. What would you like to know? Oh, you mentioned Darian has a dog? Yeah, he's got a dog. Personally, I think it's the meanest, most vile creature on the face of the earth. It seems to love Darren, though, so I, I guess it can't be all that bad. Mm. Well, thanks for the warning. So, can you leave here if you want? Nah, I'm pretty much trapped here. Can't even leave to refill my medical supplies. Darren sends out for anything I need. Well, I guess you just aren't as... Oh, let's not go with that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. Um, how did you come here? Uh, how did you come to be here in the first place? I was kidnapped. I was traveling from Vault City to New Reno for a well-deserved vacation. Went to, I went to bed one night and woke up bound and gagged next morning. A week or so later I was here. Being here ever since. Yeah, well, I'm sorry to hear that. Thanks for the information. I'll be heading out now. Okay, well, you take care. Come back if you need anything. Well, I'll come back with news. Good news, hopefully. And you'll be free to go. Because I am about to kill Darian and his dog. Oh yeah, I don't know why he has a dog, maybe it's a reference to um, the Vault Dweller from Fallout 1, because Dogmeat was with us most of the time, he ended up dying, for some uh, reason I forget, but yeah, Dogmeat didn't, okay, that guy's coming, but I got more problems than that, because <laughs> there's these two guards that I didn't see, 
So which one of them is... So this guy is a pistol, I think. Both of them have a pistol, so let's go with this guy. Oh, I missed. Perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna get a L out of the way, because I don't know what Marcus is gonna do. No. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. That was bad. And Marcus... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure how this is gonna go. So, she's taking a steam pack. She's shooting me. Okay, I'm fine. I'm fine. I can heal myself. Marcus is punching her in the face very... Not very strongly, because only seven points of damage were dealt. And let's try and deal with these guys. I'm gonna shoot this guy in the face again. Miss again? Are you kidding me? God damn. Oh my god. God! Ugh. Are you kidding me? Why, why did you miss that? Oh boy. Okay. Uh, by the way, I uh, um, Sal Hattin told me a thing that I didn't know. Sal Hattin is one of the most active commenters down in the comment section below. Thank you for being there, mate. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, he told me that Myron will... Um... Okay, I took no damage right there. Uh, Myron will build... Um... And, uh, yeah, that Vault 15 guard is dead. Good. That Ma Myron will build super stim packs for us. Yeah, I'm gonna go there. Because Cassidy, di Cassidy died for those things. And uh, I was very dumb. I, it's, it was actually the first time that I that uh, Cassidy died to that for me. I've never, I've never um, been in that situation. So, yeah, it's not really an excuse because I knew that... Okay, that guy's taking a stim pack. I need those, man. I need those. Okay, so I'm not taking damage. Myron is missing as usual. And um, Lenny is hitting the brain bot for 42 damage. God damn you. Lenny was hit for 4. Brain bot was hit for 42. That's... I think that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need to take care of this guy first because... Because otherwise, I'm not sure how Marcus is gonna deal with them. And I killed two guys in the same turn. I'm gonna get the hell out of here because... Okay. Okay, 4 points of damage. It's fine. And down goes that guy. And, okay, what is Marcus gonna do? Hopefully not kill anybody of my friends. It's 30, fuck, 36 damage. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna need to focus on the guys that are... Are you kidding me? God damn you! Okay, are you gonna run away? Mm, well, you're gonna die. Run away, I'm not sure if that was what you were trying to do. Okay. Okay, good, I think... It should be fine, unless Marcus decides to kill me. He does decide to hit me, but I was only hit for four points of damage. So as it turns out, of course I missed. God damn it, you RNG! I hate it when that happens. How much? Oh, man. Okay, everything's fine. Everything is fine except for the brain bot, because the brain bot is kind of almost dead. So can you repair yourself? <sighs> I'm not sure. Not sure what is up with that. Because I read online and I kind of kind of remember that the uh, brain bot maybe it needs a cybernetic brain. It probably does. Yeah, it probably does. So I'm probably need I'm gonna probably need repairs to ha to help the dude out. Well, I I'm not skilled with that, but I might as well increase some of my points in there because okay, I, yeah, I Marcus, come back here. Take the no, not this. Take this, and also take this. Yeah. Go at it, mate. Go at it. Yeah. Take those. Uh, I'm not gonna be using my uh, energy pistol anytime soon. I'm also gonna give this to Lenny, because Lenny is using armor piercing 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter bullets. So I might as well go with that for him. Okay, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this as well. And this, yes, very much so. Um, and this, thank you. And that is that. I No, yeah, that is that. I'm not gonna take the um, grenades because I don't really use them. And nobody in our party uses them. Even though I think they're, Marcus is good with throwing, I'm pretty sure. And so is Myron. I don't really remember. Uh, yeah, but I don't like grenades. It, I have <laughs> I have a trouble enough with with burst weapons. And I don't really want to add explosive area of effect damage <laughs> to that equation right there. Really, it is a bad idea. Really bad idea. If you have the luxury of uh, saves coming though, it's totally fine. Otherwise, not really, 
Not really something that I advise you to do in Fallout 2 or 1, for that matter. So, is this level clear? Not really sure, but we'll see. So, for now, what I want to do is go into my character screen and see how... Oh, I'm pretty good with repairs. Huh, don't really remember being that good with repairs. Um, so... Just checking for books. Okay, so I'm gonna repair this little guy. See if that helps. Actually, I think I have a toolkit with me, which is this thing. It's not a toolkit, it's a tool. So let's see if I can fix the guy that does nothing? Seriously, do I need to, like, use my... Oh, there it is. Okay, so this is gonna take a while, but uh, it's gonna work. It's gonna work. So I'm healing it for 9, for 4, for 7. Yeah, it's going... Not up, not down. Oh, I'm too tired. Why is that? What the hell am I too tired to fix up a little robot? Do I need to rest? Well, I'm. I gladly. I'll gladly rest because I don't give a damn. Let's just rest for. Um, I guess evening. See if that work. Oh, that works. That does nothing. Let's use the uh, repair skill. Okay, wait for a while. Let's wait until. So is that a day that I need to wait? Let's uh, hope that it is. Okay, there it is. It's a day. It's a day. Yeah, we're gonna do something. Don't worry. Don't you worry, little guy. Don't you call me little guy! I know how tall I am. He's actually pretty tiny. The strain might kill me. Not me. Oh, this works like a first first aid um first aid uh thing. Yeah, that's probably the case. So let's look at his health state. It can it's wounded. So let's hope that this will fix him up. Okay, the strain might kill me. Let's wait for a couple of hours. And don't worry, guys. I'm waiting because I have the luxury of time. There's no time limit in Fallout 2. Even though Anuk Akunin, or whatever his name is, the the village helder. Okay, the Baron bot is healthy already. So, good news, everyone. Good news. The day of Sunday... No, that's not good news. I was looking for... Uh, yeah, good news is good as new. And our friends are probably uh, better because I... By waiting a couple of days here, I managed... To heal myself a little bit, and they also heal themselves a little bit as well. Uh, I'm not very good with endurance. I am, I am average. I am average at that. Literally average. That's five points. Are you kidding me? I just... Come on. Moving me. No, moving. Just moving. Um, not me. The me was from uh, Myron. And the uh, text bubbles kind of got mixed up right there. Okay. Let me out. Let me out. God damn you. Oh, there it is. Good. Um, actually, let me save the game, because I don't really want to risk being shot to the f in the face and suddenly dying and having to replay that battle again. Because, uh, you know, you know how it is. So there's nothing back here. The vault is kind of looking pretty much the same as it was looking 80 years ago, so I don't, I don't really know. Okay, we got a vent, a pipe here, we can get a computer, computer terminal that's not really working, I don't think. It is! This terminal monitors the power generator, indicates that the unit is offline due to a malfunction of some sort. Well, let's try and fix that and see if that works, because maybe the squatters will be able to live down here. You can't seem to find anything wrong, it just doesn't work. Seriously? Just doesn't work, you say? Well, if that's the case, then maybe the function, the mal malfunction... Is somewhere deeper in the vault. Well, are you moving? You're not moving, man. You're you're now moving, but slowly as heck. Okay, good. Ah, okay. <clears throat> so, huh? There doesn't seem to be much. Oh, got a locker over there. We got a desk over here. We got a nice pistol that I already have. We got a porn mag. We got a lock picking toolkit. We got a not horseman. Um, a book that I'm gonna read, a Scout Handbook. And uh, by the way, that increases my outdoorsman skill to 45, 47 points. We got some med kits, those are really nice to have. Not med kits, stim packs. Sorry. Been playing Shadowrun Hong Kong a little bit too much. And th those are those are med kits over there, but no. In this game, there's only. St Actually, there's med kits in here. There's first aid kits, not med kits. First aid kits. The other one is Doctor's Bag. I have all the different nomenclatures in different games. I enjoy that. I actually enjoy that. I'm a, a bit of a Gramanazi. Not Gramanazi. That's not really what I'm trying to convey. I'm a bit of a um, 
a bit of a uh, sucker for uh, nomenclatures and proper names and all that. So th th I think that I I've always been um, a fan of is where the names come from and all that because I don't know, it's just a thing that I enjoyed from my uh, times as a kid. Oh, my times as a kid! The times I spent as a kid. Few people have spent as much time uh, being a kid as I have. Actually, I, that's. Oh, I forgot that these guys were angry at me for some reason. And he hits me for 20 points? What the hell do you have in your hands? Is that a Reaper? I'm pretty sure that's a Reaper. If you don't know what a Reaper is, is it's a, basically a kitchen knife. An electrical kitchen knife. And good thing I got out of there because Lenny is using his SMG. Okay, that girl is running away. So Why the hell, Marcus? Why the hell are you doing that? Don't you have a, a minigun? Man. Okay, so causes serious pain. That's not really what I'm looking for. That causes death, so that's what I'm looking for. And that girl is no longer fighting, which is good. I'm gonna shoot her in the head. And off comes her chest for some reason. Yep. Yep. There's no, re there's really no um, custom uh, deaths uh, apart from uh, critical deaths. There's a couple for each. Um... So what is happening right now? Okay, Brainbot is standing his ground, which is good. I'm gonna go here and check out the uh, landscape, which apparently is a couple of guys coming my way. My ribs, your ribs hurt, huh? Well, not can't say I'm surprised. Being shot, being shot by a shotgun. So hopefully your ribs don't hurt anymore. How's that feeling? This guy isn't hurt and is uh, still seeing, which is a shame because he's now gonna use his shotgun to do some damage. Well, okay, Lenny. God damn it. Okay, that guy. I'm gonna try and use my sniper rifle to the head of that guy because it, uh, criticals to the head have a chance to stun them, to knock them out. But of course I miss. Of course I do. It's coming this way, so that's a good thing. That is. Oh, that's a miss. Oh, Lenny. Thank you. Thank you. So Lenny got pissed that Myron hit him, but, well. Marcus does the job. Thank you, Marcus, for your help. And um, let's reload our weapons. And uh, there it is. Everyone reloaded their weapons. And let's heal ourselves too, because my health is not looking too great. Got 14. Got 10. Man, I hate it when I get 10 again. Are you 16. Let's go for another one. And I got 16 again. Eh, not that bad. Not that bad. Okay, so let's loot this place. We got a P90, not really interested in that. I already have one of those, not really interested in money either, so I'm not gonna take that. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. I'm not gonna use them, so it's not really that, that big of a deal if I don't. But I've seen those already, so... Uh, so let's see, got a... Only a couple of guys in here. No, actually, there's the rest of them. We got another H and key. H and K, H and K. Sorry, sorry, guys. Not native. I sometimes I don't know the alphabet. Yeah, that's a thing. That is really a thing. I don't know the alphabet. So let's take all this. Actually, there's not much I can take. Let's give this to Lenny. Let's see how he's looking health-wise as well. So you're looking. I know it's Harold's assistant. Come on, it's wounded. Okay, wounded is fine. Fine by me. Let's give this over to Marcus. And the shotgun is gonna go for the uh, cyber brain. Uh, let's give him this ammo because he needs it. Actually, no space left. Of course, there's no space left. I, for some reason, I, I need to uh, trade with him in order to uh, give him stuff. Don't really know why, but it's a thing. So this is a uh, not really something that I want to give him. Um, yeah, there's too many. There's too many of this. Nobody uses sniper rifles, though. And I don't really need this much ammo, so I might as well just leave it down here, I guess. And I don't need this, either. Just one of those things, you know? Just one of those things. So let's, yeah, let's leave it behind. An HNK cause. The best shotgun in the game. And uh, I'll take this, because... That's not me who's using it. And Lenny kind of likes using Burst. Uh, although he has plenty of ammo, doesn't really need that. So, uh, note to self, don't pick up 10mm ammo anymore. So yeah, indeed, he had a Reaper. It is a nice melee weapon. Not as nice as the, uh, what's it called? The uh, fist, this mega fist, super power fist. Power fist, that's the name. 
power fist that uh, that uh, Marcus should be using, but still. Um, okay, let's take this. I don't know if Marcus needs ammo, but I still I'm gonna give him both this weapons. I'm gonna give it the Reaper, and I'm gonna give him the ammo as well. So he kind of needs, uh, doesn't really need. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. Not gonna really you gonna pick up uh, 5.45. Is that 5.45? Uh, don't know. Don't know. Anyway, not gonna pick up minigun ammo anymore. Because I don't think Marcus is gonna need it. Ooh, Vault 15 computer parts. Miscellaneous computer parts with various functions. Let's take that. Let us take that, because I think that might fix the generator or something. Hmm. And apart from that, is that? Nah. Apart from that, there's not really much else in the armory. So over here we got a functioning computer, uh, the other ones are kind of dead. Let's see what it does, I got another one right there. The terminal indicates that all security systems in the vault are offline due to power failure. So that means that I need to fix, come on guys, that I need, that means that I need to fix the um, generator before this thing comes online. You access the computer with and quickly scan all available files. You find the location of Vault 13 and copy it to your pit boy. So we know where Vault 13 is. I don't know why the inhabitants of NCR didn't think to check down here earlier and find out where their savior's hometown was. But, well, not really hometown, but home vault, I guess. We got a little bit of a gym. We got some bad master bedroom right there. I don't remember. Wasn't this place like blocked by rubble? Did they dig this out? And actually, are not they are, are they not uh, kind of angry at me for shooting their friends? Well, let's save. So that's F6 for save. And I'm not sure. That's the dog. There's the vicious creature that you see an animal with a lot of fur and four legs. If a dog could grin evilly, you would swear this one is doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is an older man. I don't really know if I if I need to. Okay, so I think we're good health-wise, so I'm just gonna go for it. So here you are at last, the savior of the downtrodden and the writer of wrongs, the icon of hope for humanity. What a dumbass! Well, before you start any boring speeches, I just like to say that I'm not fucking interested. Let's just cut to the chase and get this over with. Bad dog. Kill! Well, here comes the dog, apparently. No, the dog doesn't feel like it. Oh, flamethrower, huh? Well, that kind of smarts a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is shoot the, that guy in the face. How about that? <laughs> well, he's down now, and this guy is blind. Is he blind? He's not blind. Okay, so because I can, I am gonna use my inventory, reload my weapon, and heal myself. If you're not gonna kill me in a single turn, you're not gonna kill me at all. Uh, actually, I'll give you seven, eight, nine. Okay, I could go for another one. Good. Oh, I got plenty of healing right there. That's good. That is very good. Blunder, he says. No, not really something that you're gonna get, man. Not really something that you're gonna get. And the dog is attacking me. Who the hell is this guy? He has armor, weapons, and a bad attitude. Not the type of guy who likes your company. Well, huh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, but anyway, um, don't really know where... Oh, so why the hell are you not here? Yeah, these guys are slow. Why the hell? I don't, even, I don't even know. But anyway, I need to take you out soon with a shot to the face. Is that gonna work? It is not gonna work. And uh, trying to cripple my death perception, huh? Yeah, that's kind of what I'm trying to do. But, uh, well, you see, you're not gonna be able to use... Oh, this guy got out of the way, so I might die now. No, that guy was an idiot. Doesn't have... Flamer fuel anymore. That's the name of the flamethrower, by the way. It's a flamer, I think. Anyway, I think it's flamer fuel. So this guy is a pretty big ass machine gun, so I'm gonna try and take him out. And this guy as well. Oh, there goes your death perception, mate. I leveled up. And whoa, I feel as if I passed some arbitrary experience value and gained more power. Yeah, you did, Marcus. You did. That was not exactly what happened with you. Uh, you didn't pass some arbitrary experience landmark. What happened with you is, uh, I leveled up, that's what happened. And uh, there's a chance that you're gonna level up. Actually, there's not, because the um, restoration project removes that chance. There's just, uh, at certain levels, some of my... 
companions will level up. Oh, you're dead, aren't you? How sad. Darren's dog missed. Marcus is not gonna shoot Darren's dog with a minigun, which is a good thing, because I have a fix for that. That guy is sleeping tightly. And this guy is shouting in his sleep, apparently. Now, it's still alive, it's taking a steam pack. Good thing it's not a super steam pack, because I kind of want those for me. And five damage with your minigun, Marcus. You're not doing so well, are you? And I'm not doing well either. Well, Aaron Jesus is not doing well. That's his. That's okay. Okay, so there goes 23 hail hit points of my health. That guy is up and running. Oh, he's running. He's really running. <laughs> he's running for it. But I think my sniper rifle is gonna catch him before he reaches it, wherever it is. So let's see what I can do to your head now. I can miss it. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, doesn't really work like I wanted to work. But now is running away. I'm just gonna come up to him like so. There you are, little fella. How about this? Oh, it hurts, huh? It hurts a little bit. Oh, the bazookas on that girl. I didn't really. Man, Jesus. I hadn't seen that before. Um. Anyway, let's reload our sniper rifle and uh, loot this place. Because everyone's dead. Everyone's. Did I gain some car, some experience? I didn't. Huh. Well, that is what it is. Uh, okay, so Myron is spouting some nonsense as usual. I can't really see. Oh, get another power fist? That's cool. That is cool. I don't really need it, but still, it's cool. Cool enough that I will notice it. So we got our flamer. I, I've seen this before, but I'm not sure if I need them. Uh, not really sure. Not, I'm not gonna bother with them because I don't know. They're too short range. Okay, that's the remains of a dog. I don't really need those. So what th does this guy have? Yeah, I've seen those before. I've seen those before. Okay, I think I'm missing Darian. No, not really me. Only three guys. What? Power fist. We got a knuckle, white knuckle, whatever that is. We got another. One. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything back here? Is this like a? Bathroom or something? Yeah, it looks like. Um, and that is that. Yeah, this this area was blocked by rubble. And uh, got a nice bed in here. But not really much beyond that. So, what should we do? I guess we should go back to level 2 and try to fix the generator. See if we can uh, activate that computer right there. But anyway, that's gonna be for next episode. In next episode, we're gonna go back to the NCR. We're gonna see how it works out with uh, Tendi and um, see if she lets us into Weston's place. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna cut the episode right here. I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Fallout 2. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, feel free to leave a comment, like a video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next episode. Bye bye.